Tarantola, your humble host, and we are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Um, the city is really starting to take off. Um, we've added uh, 25,000 people, based on these numbers here, uh, in the last, uh, what, two to three episodes, uh, basically with just this one area. And um, to give you an idea, that's uh, basically 50% increase in population uh, in a matter of just a maybe a day or two of game days, uh, game time, um, you know, and we still haven't really bridged this gap, but you know, I will do that eventually. Uh, this needs to get really built up a lot more, I think, and um, I think the focus here is we're going to do a metro system, so this is going to be the metro system episode, all right, so we're going to um, go ahead and go to metro. And uh, what's this? No, oh, I just got a, another different kind of metro. <laughs> it's it's got floor platformers. It's it's definitely in another thing. So I guess it does it does a cross. Um, I see it, it it creates a cross thing. So it makes it a little bit more realistic in some areas. And you know what? We m just may utilize that. So I need to really think about it though. Where do I want my metro system to go? You know, I definitely want it to come down this way and probably hit in here somewhere along where the tram system gets you going. And then I'm going to want to bring it out over here. And then we we'll probably want to go up to the airport and make a loop. Um, so I think. Uh, a park is always a great place to put a metro system or near a park. Um, you already got walkability going on there. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to do. Gonna put it here. That's where I'll put that. Right? Now, Metro system is kind of like a train system where you don't want them to be too close to each other. This is not like a bus line where you stop at, at, at as close as the normal walkability would be. You're going to want to spread it out just a little bit, just enough. And um, it doesn't have to be on a main road either. In fact, a lot of times it's better if it's not. Um, you just want to be mindful, okay, of where you are putting it now. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I push a button on my mouse. And it reads you this number two, so it's like, okay, you want to, or whatever button it is to do zoning. So maybe number four. Um, in any case, I digress here. Um, I think we maybe want to put our metro system like over here. Uh, maybe we put it on like this corner here. How's that look? Kind of overlapping with this. I think that's a school or a hospital, maybe. Yeah, it's a hospital. So maybe what I need to do is I need to go ahead and move that. Looks like it was kind of pushed over anyway. And. Move it over like that. And that'll work. That's good enough, at least, right? You know, it's kind of neat how they have little half courts there. Okay, so we got that going. Um, where do we want our next one to be? We, we probably want it to um, kind of come up here and go up that way. Now, I won't mind putting one right next to our train here. Uh, that's not a bad idea to always have good connectivity between your different lines. Um, yeah, I might just stick it right here. And so it'll have to come and turn, do a little turn there. And then we'll have it come up and it'll be parallel to, but not necessarily in line with the train and the uh, tram here. I think I'm going to 
actually keep it along this park very close to where the train is but I'll put it on the um, on this side of the park and we want to really think about uh, where we have I know I have a bridge coming across here somewhere yeah right here so I definitely want to make it to where people can come across and go straight to this um, Putting it right here, or I wonder if you can attach it to there at all. You can, um, but yeah, putting it right here, I think would be great. Let's see how that looks. It's overlapping with this building, which I can definitely lose. Yeah, and so then you can just go straight up and over. Um, I guess, I don't know if that has been eliminated. It looks like it has been. And nobody is walking across there, so I've, I'm pretty sure I've eliminated that. Um, but I think that'll be good. Now, it is a bit far. I think I want to do something down here. And so, maybe we do it like right here, next to where this bridge comes down. How would that work? How, how good would that be? Yeah, so you can kind of zigzag it a little bit. And then uh, maybe just stick it right here. How close is the nearest bus stop? That's a bus stop there. So I want to really, I think I want to put it like right here because we got a couple different bus stops going on right here. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. And then, so the way I got it, I got it coming here and then it's going to go around this way. Then it's going to kind of zig back over to here. And it's going to zag over there and then zig over to here. And we're going to turn the corner here. And we definitely want one like over here with all this stuff here. I think that'll be good. Do I want one over here anywhere? That would be great connectivity for these hoity toity people. Um, and you could have a lot of walkability here. So, I think I might put it right along here. Stick it right there. That's what I'll do. Alright, now, we don't have a natural one. We, with the International Airport, it has one that's built in, but this one we're going to have to just add it. So, we'll do that here. Um... do it right there okay and I think that'll be our a, a nice little loop there okay so now we'll go to this metro tunnel I didn't use this uh, nouveau rehearsal however whatever that means um, just because I, I don't have a I'm just gonna do a simple loop I don't have a complex system yet um, I have a feeling that uh, as we further develop the city we're going to ultimately need that but just not quite yet. So, with these, I'm less finicky because they're they're not really seen except in certain views. So I do want it to, to make some sort of sense, but you know I don't care too terribly much about uh, making sure that it's it's perfect, just that it works. As far as laying down the tunnels, also you want it to be generally speaking as efficient as possible because it is technically speaking expensive um, if you notice I've spent a lot of my money um, I had 12 million in the bank at one point and I'm down to seven uh, that being said I'm not too worried about it because look at that uh, surplus there I have um, 40 to 45 thousand are yeah, forty to forty-five thousand dollars a week in surplus. So I'm doing just fine. I'm not 
overly worried about it. your lines. Uh, with a simple loop like this you just do it once around one way and then once around the other way and you call it a day. Now have a metro system that I have a feeling will be well used and uh, exhibit A <laughs> they are filing in yeah so that's gonna be very well used but now we need to do a bus sy system that uh, kind of spans this area and probably connects up to that train station I would I would wager so um, I'm not going to do it on this main road or even that main road even though that's where my thing is so I'm gonna do it over here and that's honestly that's just a short walk through the park to get to it and that's fine um, probably do it going that way and we'll add one here Oh, I can't, I can't go straight, right? So that's something you need to think about. Um, I can't, I can't um, right, uh, well, I guess I can left turn, but I can't go straight. So that's okay. I, I don't mind doing it actually on this little street, but I don't think that's, that's a good idea. Let's do it here. Um, and then we can come up this way that way I'm gonna do it this way let's do it that way we'll make a little loop out of it and call that a day there um, we'll make like a little quick loop from here let's do it on this side and it'll actually, it'll pick up people from, from that little stop there, too. And we'll have people come on in. Hmm. How do we make this as, work as efficiently as possible? I guess it wants to come over this way, one way or the other. So maybe do that. Have it go the other way. way now that's actually interesting instead of doing that why don't we do this where it comes up back up this way and grab a couple more stops out of out of it make some hay with what we got um, I'll even add a stop like you well, I was gonna add a stop like over here but it doesn't make sense We'll just complete the line, and that'll be that. So that'll create some good cross traffic. That'll create a lot of traffic for my park. So I'll make some money that way. I mean, wow! Look at look at all those people filing in. Love the walkability of the city. I should put um, 
like a parking garage or something. So we got all these cars. Whenever you have cars coming in and out like that, uh, that tells you, and you got all this parking along the street here, that tells you that parking could be used in the area. And just placing a good parking garage can really help. Hmm. So the next thing to think about, okay, is tourism. You know, if I do place, like I already got that uh, one building, but if I do place this uh, space elevator to bring a ton of people in, um, where would I place it and how would it connect to the city? It's got to be basically, a, that would be, you want that to be like your transport hub. I think ultimately this is going to become a, a bit of a transport hub for me. Um, because I am going to build city out this way too, and so you know you're going to have huge city over here. You got huge city over here, um, and this is kind of like the node in between everything. Um, and that's kind of why I put it where I did. Partially, it is just makes the most sense as far as open land goes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's that's a little bit uh, far thinking in the future. What do we got here? Um, not enough goods to sell. So, oh, it looks like we really have uh, a dem high demand for industry, and it's not simply offices. Our demand is for this kind of industry. Um, so, let's go ahead and expand that uh, while we can. Um, I wonder, do I want to just continue the grid here, or do I want to maybe add some industry uh, somewhat elsewhere. Hmm. I'm thinking, I think I'm going to just kind of continue it here along the river. That's whole, kind of the whole point of why I put things the way I did. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight to doing basic roads with turning lanes. Um, we're not going to use the industrial roads anymore because um, we're going to assume high volume here. Um, and space already occupied. Is it? Okay. So that's already going to that thing. So I'll I'll stick that there. And um, you know we want to be very selective about where we put connections here. So um, I wonder if that could go straight through. It can't right there. But uh, I bet you it can over here. So, um, let's see about doing that. No, nope, space already occupied. Hmm. I might have to, like, raise this road up a bit. Make it even with that. That's still a gentle enough slope there. so that I can put the good road going through here, yeah. And uh, you know, I might even make that like a good thoroughfare here. You know what I wanna do, and I'm gonna do it right now, is so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a highway. This is really what it is. What it's always intended to be. And part of what that's going to do for me is it's going to get rid of the grid. Oh, no. I can't do it right there, which is fine. We'll go back to, to that for that section. And that's fine. those and I'm gonna leave it alone from there I don't know I don't think it's necessary to be on there but 
I don't know that that's really going to change much about what's going on here. I do want to check to make sure it doesn't kink up. And it did. It kind of kinked up my macro management here. So I'll redo that. Just to be sure. There. And here as well. so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right. And that was always just like a free for all and that's fine. That's always just been a free for all and that's fine. So that way when I go back to here, I get my full grid now. It kind of keeps it up right there. But, uh, alas, what are you going to do? What you going to do? So, um, I had it right here. Yeah, it was this road here. And I do, I do want it to kind of connect up to this road. Um, there. Like that. way and I'll have that come straight out and then come on there we go come on oh we must be saving I can't see it because of the, the color but I bet you we're saving yeah that's what we were doing there we go and then we'll alt click here Cleans that straight on up. There we go. It's a nice clean curve there. Okay, and so that's kind of going to be a thoroughfare here, but we also want it to come straight out from here to there. And we'll even upgrade. We haven't already this one. to there and then everything else will be this this other one we'll go uh, upgrade roads to be that um, yeah it's already done that way Yeah, okay. So, that's all nice and upgraded. Um, this is just going to have to have a T intersection here. Yeah. Delete that. Just kind of get in my way. There we go. And, uh, just have a crossover here. Come straight on over. something like that hmm maybe we want to limit our connections here I don't know we'll leave it like that for now see how it works out um, put that like right there like the idea of this coming straight across here Let's go ahead. Shall we connect here? We need to have at least one co other connection other than that one. Um, again, we want to be 
sparse with it. So I think that one, so it's, it really connects all the way through. Um, and so yeah, that's what we'll do. And we will zone the hell out of that thing. zone right here. And quite frankly, I want to unzone right there too. I will not mind if we go to you know what I could do is go down like something like this. Even if it is never really used, I don't think it should be. Um, it eliminates those uh, that grid, which is really what I'm looking for there. Uh, I don't like that grid coming off of that road. I don't need it there. I hate how this looks right here, you know. And by having a, ro I wish I had, I could turn off grid off of certain road segments because I don't want. I, I just want it to be road segment and not. Um, Connected to the grid, but uh, there's that. We want to make sure we've got water everywhere, which we do. Power should be fine, especially with that going right through. Um, in fact, that's probably problematic, so we'll need to readjust that. Let's rework that a little bit. Um, not worry about uh, a lack of power over here because it's right next to all this so let's build that I bet you that's gonna blow up with um, stuff Okay guys, so that's uh, another expansion there. Um, we got a great thing going over here. We Let's check on our metro line here. We got plenty of passengers going on each of these lines. Let's take a look here. So this is definitely our busiest one here. It's that this is that stop. Let's see if we've got any other stops. I mean nine hundred freaking people waiting to get on over here. Um and it's it's on the green line, not necessarily on the blue line, so they're wanting to go over to here. Oh, I wonder if they're all getting off right here or not. Let's just kinda wait and see how it works. A stop there and a stop there both of which are about the same distance from here which is not accidental do we get just like a, a heck of a ton of people coming off or where are they going so no I don't want the Lexus there we go so we got people coming off here so uh, they didn't really get off at that stop or maybe they get off at this stop I don't know Not a heck of a lot of people got off at that stop, so maybe they're coming over to this area over here. They lost some passengers. So some of them came off there. Because what we're, what we're doing by looking at this is we might need to put in a an express line that 
kind of bypasses some of these other things. More came off there. And coming on around. We gained, I think, more than we lost there. So I wonder if we need to do some sort of express line to the other commercial district, which makes some sense that you want your commercial districts well connected to each other. Definitely had a lot of people come off right there. Oh wow, okay, that had a ton of people get off. See, it doesn't make sense that they would, why wouldn't they just take the blue line around the other way? So I'm thinking that it's, it's, it's these two stops mostly, and possibly that one is the third one, but primarily these two stops that they're trying to get to. So what we might do is we might go ahead and create, like I said, an express lane. And what that's going to do is um, we're going to just tee off. Uh, there and again I'm less worried about how it looks the way I am with roads uh, just as long as it works and we're gonna go straight to here right and then after this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna come off and we might put a metro in here since we're kind of traveling through the area so let's let's go ahead and do that let's stick Stick a metro right here. We'll come to right there. Um, do we want to get another one in? Maybe over here. At least right by the tram line. So let's do that. going to come back over here and right on back in. And so we'll create a new line, create a new line, and it'll go straight to here and there, and then go over to these two and back, and then we'll actually reverse it. No, create a new line over here and so hopefully what that's going to do is it's going to alleviate some of the pressure um, uh, that this the previous line was uh, experiencing um, it's also going to allow more people to get on at these stops because they're going to just bypass those stops so the, they can they can uh, there's it's just going to make it more connectivity um, still not enough goods to sell over here so hopefully that uh, will be alleviated uh, in the long term we might need to put a warehouse somewhat near here to allow for goods to be stored so we can go to our industry here and just go to generic um, so we want warehouses so I'll put a large warehouse somewhere around here um, where do we want it I think I want it like over towards this area, quite frankly. Um, kind of makes a lot of sense to have it over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on this one, just like that. And uh, it's going to be just goods. Can we just do goods? goods and we're going to have it at a fill storage mode and so 
hopefully what that's going to do is that's going to create um, a pool from over here to bring goods to over there and then from there they will be distributed to here um, I don't know maybe it would have made more sense to do it somewhere halfway in between but uh, such is life yeah so oh man we 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 have we have a bit of a pickle here <laughs> what happened there do we need to have like a diverging diamond what's going on we got a problem with the trains it's backing up oh my god look <laughs> oh my gosh things are not looking great guys <laughs> Oh, we need to probably bypass uh, this crossing here. That's what I'm betting. It's it's all about this crossing. Uh, some something stuck. So how do we how do we do that? Um, so this is going to have to go up. Oh man, that is such a can of worms. Such a can of worms. I'm not sure there's a good way to, to avoid it though. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start dealing with that on the next episode. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.